Based on some of the comments which I received from the last video, it seems I was wrong. Hector Gonzalez and Dave, if you don't want to trust the U.S. authorities, the figures released by U.S. authorities, let's look at another country. Let's look at Iceland. Now, 10% of the whole country has been tested. Out of the 30,000 people, something like 2,000 people turned out to be If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. Here, there would be no lockdown for almost another two weeks. Based on some of the comments which I received from my last video, it seems I was wrong. There is no danger of coronavirus. In fact, it's a lovely afternoon. You can go for a walk. You can go for a horseback ride. Until you realize that you don't have a horse, but you do have the danger of coronavirus. Hector Gonzalez, as you claim, if the figure has been underreported by a factor of 25, you also mentioned that in some cities it's 25, not 10, but 25, then that means 3% of the population is infected with this disease. Hector Gonzalez and Dave, if you don't want to trust the US authorities, the figures released by US authorities, let's look at another country, let's look at Iceland. Now, 10% of the whole country has been tested for COVID-19. 10% of the Iceland's population is 30,000 people. Out of the 30,000 people, something like 2,000 people turned out to be positive. And out of those 2,000 people, 10 people died, meaning that the mortality rate is 0 0.5. Let's look at another small country, the Maldives. Maldives reported its first death case due to COVID-19 early morning yesterday. And at that point of time, the Maldives had something like 200, over 200 cases. So... That means the mortality rate in Maldives is also 0 0.5. Now, I'd like to note this, just one death, meaning all it takes is one more death to double the figures. Going from one to two is double. All it takes is one more death to double the figure, meaning all it takes is one more death death to double the percentage, to double the mortality rate. Now, just so that I am right, I don't want another person to die. But as it stands right now, the mortality rate is 0 0.5. That's still, meaning COVID-19 is still five times more lethal than the common cold. In my last video, I estimated it to be 10 times more lethal than the common cold. Um, actually, looking at the US figures, it was much, much more than that. According to the US figures, 5% uh, COVID-19 had a mortality rate of 5%, but 
I took into account that there might be some uh, underreporting, some missing information, and uh, uh, brought down the percentage from 5 to 1 percent. Now, whether I'm right or wrong, let's leave that aside and let's ask the more, seri more serious question. Is COVID-19 dangerous or is it not so dangerous as you are implying? The fact of the matter is that more people have died in the USA during these past days due to COVID-19 than any other cause of death. Just look at the chart.